Aloha, Aloha stickies. stickies! Welcome back to the Stick with Kaji podcast. I'm Loanne. And I'm Sean. You can follow me on Instagram. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's oh, oh, okay. Oh. Before my introduction, you want to do your Instagram? Okay, that's, yeah. cool. that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Thought it would just flow naturally, but it's okay. Got it, got it, got it. There Priority. it is, at Loanne Kaji on Instagram. If you want to check it out, it'd be great. Happy Thanksgiving. Yay. If you guys celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. We usually don't eat turkey. We usually get ham, right? It's just a lot easier to cook. You know, turkey, then you have to prepare and put stuffing inside. Ham, you just, just cook it as is. <laughs> well, when, when we say cook, it's not me that's cooking, but... I'm just putting it in the oven. <laughs> but it's good. You know, the, all, all it matters is that you, the family gets together and spend time together, right? So, yeah. Today's topic, I thought we can talk about something more fun, you know, a blast from the past sort of thing and talk about our wedding. Mm, yeah. How do you feel about that? <laughs> yeah, good, good. Because it's been, what, well, how many years? It's a long time ago. I mean, we're not that old, but it's been, you know, eight right? years. Eight years old. Eight yeah. years, yeah. yeah. So let's start from, you know, we didn't get married right away. We had Ryan first. I know, big controversy there. <laughs> and the reason why we waited, because, you know, we had Ryan, we didn't really have much money. So we really wanted to save for the wedding on our own and didn't really, you know, want it to, and to anybody else to pay for it. Yeah, because uh, when we had Ryan, we were still in college, and it was a surprise, too. We wanted to make sure we started the marriage with more responsible way, and we didn't feel like the uh, asking parents to to, uh, to pay for the hour wedding is the great way to start the family. So we wanted to wait and save up the money first and, and do the wedding. But we didn't do anything big, right? No. When did you decide that it's time? When did you feel like it was time to ask me? Was there any particular moment? I always knew that we we're going to get married, right? What is it? Well, I see you roll your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's exciting. You know, but it's, <laughs> I, I couldn't tell the difference. And you guys tell me I'm wrong. It's fine. But to me, I can't tell the difference between getting married or not. Because we already have Ryan. We acted like a family already. So I just didn't feel like what the marriage would change the dynamics. So I was kind of, I was okay sp taking time on it. But, you know, after a year or so uh, working at the company, uh, I felt confident that, you know, we, I could support the family. And um, that's when I thought I should propose to you. Until then, I was like, oh, what happens if I lose my job or right. you know, if I can't support financially to my family? So th that was kind of st you know, stopping me from proposing. And also, I hate proposing people I, I i just i'm extremely shy and when you think about a propose proposal like you always see on the youtube like if people do it in front of the public a, a bunch of people uh make a big announcement and people clapping and people crying or doing what was that the flash mob or, right so people usually make it grand right yeah very memorable yeah. even to this day you know i i feel like even just um what is it prom or homecoming oh i hated those those right? things i hate prom <laughs> i mean I, I didn't go to prom i didn't go to either but i see on tv or i see even on youtube and social media how grand things has become just to ask somebody to homecoming or prom yeah that was my first culture shock to me when when i first came to us and went to high school like that, like that, it's like a proposal. Like the guys are preparing like, what, like those like a uh, uh, flower thing to, to give it to girls yeah. for the homecoming. I was like, it's just homecoming. You can just <laughs> ask her to go with you. Because of my experience at the high school, I was really nervous about proposal because I just don't know how to do it in more romantic or more uh, exciting yeah. way. And it was also difficult because we always have Ryan, right? We don't really have just the couple time. Ryan was still a baby and uh, you know, we still take care of him uh, while we're working. So I had to think about the plan, how to propose to Loan with Ryan crying you know, on my arm. So that those are the kind of a lot of the things that I was like thinking. But when I was 23, I proposed, uh, 22, 23. Mm -hmm. That's when I proposed to you. Before that, you went and got the engagement ring with my sister, correct? Well, after I decided that I right, should propose yeah. to you. Yeah, so the first thing I had to think about was the uh, getting the ring, right? When I proposed to Loanne. So I went to the uh, the local ring shop and 
I, I, I wouldn't say it's a mistake. <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> but I decided to go there with Loan's little sister. And, uh, you know, she, she wants to be, she, she wants to be there because, you know, it's her sister's, you know, uh, wedding and, uh, she want to make sure I'm picking the right ring. And when we got there and the guy's explaining all the, uh, the water, the uh, different attributes you have to look for the, uh, the diamond and she, you know, they, they mentioned about the loan engagement ring. You know, I cannot afford the expensive one, but it's, oh, it's okay. You know, you, you can do a five years loan, 10 years loan, uh, you know, if, if it's important to you, you can do as, as much alone as you want. And, and that's why my, oh, Sean, there you go. That's your solution. <laughs> so I end up taking a loan and then get the uh, uh, slightly more grand than that I can afford. But um, I was really happy with the, uh, that decision. Uh, she, she helped me find the, the really cute ring. So I was gearing up to do the, uh, the proposal. So one one uh, checkbox is uh, is checked. Uh, the but ring. there's always a stigma, right? That people always say, um, "Oh, your your engagement ring should be like as much months. as three months' salary." That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Just for me to pay for that, pay back that loan, I think it took me a year. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's it's good. So I got that, and I have to be creative in a way to hide it too. So I I just put it inside the, uh, the socks, right? In my socks. Because <laughs> <laughs> Luann's always know where my things are, so I, I just have to hide somewhere that she's least expected. So I just have to put it inside my socks. I'm sorry if it stinks when, <laughs> when you got that ring. But yeah, so that, that's where I was hiding it. And, uh, you know, I was talking to my coworkers, see if, uh, you know, see if they have any good you know, suggestion for the uh, proposal. And uh, one of my coworker mentioned to me that, hey, why don't you, uh, you know, I can make a T-shirt. Why don't you just write a message on T-shirt? And I was like, oh yeah, I guess I can do the, the message. Will you marry me? Right on the printed on a T-shirt. Maybe take Loen to the restaurant or or a park, and then when Loen's distracted, I can just take off my shirt and then just show the uh, the T-shirt saying the message. And then I thought about, wait a minute, not just by myself, but you know, Ryan should be part of it too. So I uh, I made the T-shirt says "Will you" for myself on my T-shirt, and Ryan me in question mark. So I was able to propose to Luann with the uh, Ryan together. That was my plan <laughs> to propose to Luann, uh, and I booked the uh, the restaurant, the nice really nice restaurant it's called Uchi in Houston. It's like a nice high class Japanese restaurant and it was kind of embarrassing because they only do valet parking <laughs> and uh you know my windows is like you know I have re I had a really old car so I have to roll down the window <laughs> well this get expensive BMW and right. Porsche and I have to roll down my uh Nissan Versa <laughs> and then give them the key and throughout the entire time, and Lauren had, I don't think Lauren had an idea. Did you have an idea that I was going to propose to you at the restaurant? I don't think so. I just remember it being really crowded. Yeah. And we had to wait a people. while for even our turn. Yeah. And Ryan cannot sit at yeah. any location. You, if you want to go out with Ryan, you have to hold him and, <laughs> and walk around throughout. So Ryan was crying out loud throughout the, <laughs> the experience. And then Loen was stressed out because she didn't know why I took her to a nice restaurant with Ryan. It's not really a good idea usually. Uh, so <laughs> she was a little bit upset too. Uh, after we finished the meal, I took Ryan to the bathroom and told Loen that I had to change his diaper and went to the restroom, changed his t-shirt, my t-shirt, and then popped up and... Um, and proposing to Loan at the uh, our table, uh, I talked to the the server beforehand. Hey, I'm gonna propose to her, so please, uh, you know, uh, help me out. So he was like all on board that like he was gonna help me out. But then I proposed to Loan so quietly, <laughs> nobody noticed in the restaurant that I was proposing to her. Even the server himself I was like, "What? You already proposed? I didn't even notice you did." <laughs> so it was very chill, very calm. <laughs> way of proposing it but uh, what did you think <laughs> did you like it <laughs> I did I, I really appreciate it I thought it was cute and I just love the fact that you and Ryan were there doing it together yeah that's the kind of advantage if you have a kid already <laughs> been proposing to somebody yeah, that's my advice uh, but yeah yeah. That, here's a picture uh, when we you know uh, when I proposed with Ryan 
after proposal, you know, I got really excited, told my parents, and they were excited, you know. They were like, oh, finally, it's about time, you know. Yeah, Luan's dad's been asking <laughs> every month, hey, is it time yet? Is it time yet? <laughs> so, <laughs> like, oh, finally. <laughs> so my parents are very superstitious. They actually decided you know they even went and looked at the calendar and was like oh this day is good for you guys this day is not good for you guys based on our zodiac and the chinese calendar i don't really understand it i just kind of go along with it hey but we still you know stay married so i guess it's working Yay, out hey <laughs> thanks mom and dad <laughs> um and you know we didn't really have much money so a lot of things we um just kind of create on our own and also, we decided the theme was going to be under the sea. I don't know if... Oh, it was under the sea? <laughs> you, what? You don't remember? No, I, no, I remember. I felt like I saw jellyfish and I wasn't <laughs> sure why. But you know, under the sea makes sense now. <laughs> okay. now. I was making it. I was helping you prepare for it uh, without no, knowing like, what, what it actually is. So. Okay, maybe take that back. I decided it was under the sea and he helped out. So... We pretty much did everything on our own. Um, my mom helped us with a flower arrangement. That's what she used to do for a living. So we got that covered. She got her friends to help us, um, like taking pictures and a video record. I think we paid like $500 for the, the whole thing. Yeah. Pretty good deal. And then we had to pick a restaurant. So a lot of, if you guys live in Houston, I don't know if you guys know, but a lot of Asian people, when they get married, they go to the restaurant Gim Sung. That's yeah, like a that, very... That's, that's the, the, the place everybody set their wedding. And, you know, we always eat there too. And we know, what it, like, it looks nice. It's a nice restaurant. Yeah. And, and spoiler alert, it's not the place that we booked. <laughs> it's pretty pricey. And it was way above the our price point. So we definitely could not book there. So we had to pick somewhere else that's a little bit cheaper price point. Right. So I talked to my mom and I was like, okay, I can't afford Kim Sung. It's too expensive. And I used to help my mom. So my mom used to do wedding arrangements and stuff. And so I would always go and help her prepare for the flowers to put on the tables and stuff. And so I told her, I was like, I don't think we can afford this place. Um, can you help us find a cheaper alternative, right? So she found us a restaurant um, that is more in our price range. And here's the problem. We couldn't even afford to book the whole restaurant. Yeah, so we have to divide the restaurant into half. <laughs> so they put a giant curtain in the middle of the restaurant. And one half of it is our wedding. The other half is regular people just eating the, uh, <laughs> their, <laughs> the, the dining in. <laughs> it and was, it's just a curtain that's right. dividing the space so you can hear each other so it was kind of embarrassing right so when you walk in the reception have to ask you are you here just to eat or are you here for the wedding and then so you know because it's just a curtain that dividing i always see during the wedding i always see people just kind of peeking over and watching the wedding and, and the restroom is on it was on our side so a lot of people who was dining in all still come in and then just go to the restroom like going across our wedding and then go to the restroom but that was fun still <laughs> it was quite an experience yeah but like Luan said we have to uh put put up the decorations and and, and uh set up the table all by ourselves too and then um you know the night before even though we're super exhausted and tired you know i forgot who idea it was but we're like hey let's spice up the wedding by just you know dance to a song that we kind of like that was your idea for sure <laughs> I, I don't see how i would come up with that idea <laughs> i was like let's just quickly do like a choreography dance together you know and to this day again if you watch our previous video we never watch anything that has us in it and to this day we haven't even seen our wedding video um, so I thought right now we should watch at least not the whole video. I'm just not prepared for that, but at least watch the dancing part. That's probably the most embarrassing part anyways. That's the, the part I was avoiding to watch. <laughs> yeah. The song is still stuck in my head because I never listened to American song right back then. And I have to dance with it, those ice, ice something, ice, ice baby. <laughs> yeah, it was a, um, a montage of a lot of different songs. Yeah. So there's, you know, there's like That's YMCA, there's other oh, songs. Oh yeah, YMCA I remember. <laughs> but the Ice Ice Baby and did not make sense whatsoever. But the wedding video that we have, it probably had like music over it. So we probably cannot even hear the 
you know the original tune oh, we can't show yeah. that anyways because it won't get like copyright so we have to just watch it in silence okay mm. yeah one of the dance was again in style you remember yeah, see yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i practice pr- 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 yeah. <laughs> you ready yeah good boy so first we just start off with just like a slow dance um i don't know what you're singing to but we're singing to something wait i'm singing to <laughs> wait it looks like you were maybe you're just mouthing right and then we just decided to take out the glasses. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't. What is that? I don't know. I'm sure I. Oh my God. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, Ryan! <laughs> Ryan's like, why is Tony paying attention? Uh, my friend Patrick, too, feels <laughs> awkward. He's even like looking away. <laughs> People in the back is, oh my gosh. That's Gundam style for sure earlier. I don't know what's going on here. Oh my gosh. Stop. What is this? I don't know. Is it Ice Ice a baby? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that, that definitely, this is the 40 year grown ups. <laughs> Why are we wearing glasses? I don't know. Sunglasses. Maybe, maybe we thought it's cool. I have no idea. Um, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> I like how you're looking at me. <laughs> yeah, I think I forgot my move. It's like, I feel like a, it's, cut, you know, you can't see my eye from the uh, sunglasses, but, you know, I think I am keep looking at Loan, make sure I'm mimicking it. I remember the day before the, the wedding, I made the biggest mistake at the work and it made my boss really upset. Yeah, they still come to the, uh, my wedding. Oh, so. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think so far? It's a super embarrassing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nothing. Oh boy. Oh, well, you've been telling me to come. Look at that. <laughs> it's pretty long. Okay, we're gonna stop here. You wanna stop? We can stop. No, no, no. I'm just surprised that people <laughs> have to watch this through. When, when we were performing it, we thought it was pretty short, but then you know, I just just to watch this. Oh, it was pretty long. It's like only two minutes, I think. Right? Okay. Hey, we. This is pretty good, okay, you know, for us trying to figure out how to dance to this the night before. Oh, gosh, we've gone a long way. We're still doing it. I'm sorry, guys. This is embarrassing. It's like you're laughing. Oh, my God. Just stop. <laughs> please. Please end the music. I wonder if we end on, a, like, a something cool. I don't know. <laughs> the lady, the, the, you see that server guy was just... Walking like going past. underneath, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, taking out the flower, okay. The whole time, the server is cleaning up the <laughs> table in the back. <sighs> this is the hardest to watch. Yay! Yay. Yeah, keep on clapping. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, we're gonna cut that out. So yeah, that was our dancing. Um, if you're only listening to on podcasts, probably have to cut that section out because you don't actually get to see it anyway so yeah sorry watch the actual video if you want to watch it it's on youtube <laughs> you don't want to watch it <laughs> so let's backtrack when we decided um on the place and stuff already you know the biggest thing right was for me anyways was what wedding dress should i wear i remember going to david bridal and realizing how expensive these wedding dresses are they're in the thousands it was a lot of money. And so um, I actually went to online, this website called JJ House, and I was able to pick out really cheap wedding dresses. They're like $200. And how much so, is it normally? For wedding dresses, depend on the quality, right, mm-hmm. that you want. But usually, you know, they're they're like $1,000, $2,000. Actually, when I, the first time I went to um, the David Bridal a store, I saw my old high school friends uh-huh. and they were there. And one of them, it was, she was there looking for a wedding dress. Actually, she already finished a wedding dress. She was on her way there to pick up her wedding dress that she had tailored. Uh-huh. And it was funny because I was, I happened to hold up the same wedding dress. I was looking at it. Oh. And then she came in, right? And then um, I was like, hi, whatever. And then when she got her wedding dress out, we were comparing. She was like, oh, we have the same style. We're going to get the same wedding dress. And so I, I just like nod, you know, I was like, oh, yeah. 
but then after she laughed and I look at the price, <laughs> it was like 2000 I was like, no, I can't. So you end up not getting it? Well, I can't. It was a lot of money, right? Yeah. And so when we got home, that's when I was like, oh, well, you know, I got to find a different source to get these uh, dress. But in Vietnamese culture, you don't just wear one dress. You usually wear two or three. And so, you know, just getting one dress, that's 2000 And I still have to spend more money getting the other dresses. You can't do like one wedding dress and then do like a regular clothes. No, that's no. I would be no. My mom would be <laughs> would be like you know no. You know, <laughs> yeah. so I only spent about two hundred dollars. I think I bought a total of three dresses. Okay. Around two hundred dollars each, so six hundred dollars I spent. That way I can you know change clothes in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know for our wedding. You know, their family is from Loan side and, you know, it's a lot less from my family. But, they're, you know, my family from Japan, too, also came. And my mom and dad and my grandparents came also. And, uh, you know, Loan's family is Vietnamese and my family is Japanese and, and, and my grandparents uh, uh, are Chinese. So they're mixed culture within the uh, the people who's attending the uh, uh, wedding. And then my boss and my co-workers workers came too. So when we send out the invitation, uh, we have to be a little bit creative because like one thing about Vietnamese people or at least Loan's family, Loan's side of the family is uh, they don't show up on the event on time. If you send the invitation right when it starts, or right, right when they need to be, that's when they start preparing at home. So we can't send that invitation to Loan's family. We have to give them like about 30 minutes earlier An time. hour. hour earlier <laughs> to the uh, Loan's family invitation. Than the, and I, we have to print another set of the invitation for my boss and my families. I don't think it's unique to my culture because like I mentioned, I've done, um, I helped my mom with a lot of weddings. And when we would set up the flowers for the weddings and when there is a mixed couple, right, you will see like a mixed couple, like one is white and one is Asian, for example, the, the white side of the family, they all showed up on time. Uh -huh. And it's so weird. Like you'll see half of the restaurant filled and the other half is just empty. Yeah. Because, you know, the usually the Asian side, the Vietnamese side. Don't, 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 don't categorize the Asian side. <laughs> Sorry, Vietnamese, <laughs> Vietnamese side. People from my country, we show up <laughs> on time. So we gave the uh, invitation to Loen's family for like a lot earlier time, right? So they would show up on time. But my family still managed to show up a lot earlier than Loen's family. Because <laughs> our culture, you're supposed to show up five minutes earlier than the, uh, um, you know, the time on the print. So... My actually, my family showed up when we we're still preparing. <laughs> <laughs> You'd still do that too. Yeah, and, yeah, I still do. I still show up to other people's party when they're still <laughs> getting ready. I think your motto is like, "If I show up on time, that means I'm late." <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I stress out so much if I'm running late. I, I just don't. I feel like I'm like missing out something, you know, maybe something exciting happening at the very first, right when it starts. So <laughs> nothing is happening right when it starts. People don't expect you to show up on time. I wouldn't know if I'm not there. So <laughs> no, one time I have to tell you, I, one of my friends from high school actually got married and he said, cause I didn't know. Cause in my culture, right. You show up late. <laughs> so, so he had sent out an invitation, right? I showed up like an hour late, like I usually do. How long is it been? No. So basically, by the time that I got there, he, you know, his reception was already done. The ceremony part was done. And they were just like getting food ready to eat. So I pretty much missed the important part of the wedding. You just wanted to just eat. <laughs> I know. That's what I realized that uh, this showing up on time thing is you know that's how the rest of the world operate <laughs> and you know showing late is just how Vietnamese people or my family operate so my bad I'm sorry <laughs> yeah I've been struggling with that too always just have to adjust with the, <laughs> your, your timeline so after the wedding uh, after we had to stay back and clean up that day and stuff the next day we went on to our honeymoon and guess where we went where was it um we went on a cruise. That I remember. Yeah, we went to what, Bahama? I don't even remember. It's been so long. <laughs> you don't even have an answer yet? 
everything is foggy in my mind right now because, you know, just to prepare for the wedding, it was a lot, right? And even before that, we were working a lot too. Yeah, so. yeah I remember. Yeah. And, um, you know, to be honest, I kind of have a fuzzy memory during the wedding too. So oh. just, just to backtrack yeah, it, yeah. So throughout the wedding, it was in Vietnamese. So I had no idea what was going on throughout. And there was a person who's like an MC MC person also say the same thing each time in English too but I couldn't understand his English uh, at, at that time so it was really difficult for me like I had no idea what was going on so in our tradition um, during the reception we had to go around from table to table so the reason why you want to go around is, you know, just to say thank you for coming at the same time. Usually you get one person from the table to represent the whole table and they will speak and give us life advice on how to have like a happy marriage and stuff. But the problem is most of the table were from my side of the family. It's mainly, you know, the older generation is mainly like my uncle or my mom and dad's friends, right? That would represent the table. So they feel more comfortable speaking in Vietnamese. And so the whole time when we're going around, I think Shauna was just nodding the whole time when they were giving us life marriage advice, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm assuming that's what, that's what it was. <laughs> but the, I mean, after uh, later on, somebody else told me what they were saying. They all said, oh, just listen to your wife. So just, just, just nod and listen to your wife was the advice. So I guess I was just kind of, kind of doing that. I just keep nodding to their advice. So, um, but yeah. Well, what do you think about that advice? Yeah, happy wife, happy life, right? So I think I didn't know that term is universal. So apparently in, in Vietnamese culture, I think that exists too. Yeah, so back to the uh, sorry topic of the, uh, the our honeymoon. So we went on a cruise. It was, uh, what was that cruise line? Uh, Carnival. Carnival, yeah, Carnival Cruise Line. And, you know, I tried to make it as special experience as possible with the budget that we had. So the, the room I booked for both of us was... Uh, one of the most basic room. Yeah, so our room is really tiny and there's no window. It costs so much more if you add a window room. Even like there's a room with the pictures of the outside that also costs like $50, $60 more. Yeah, it's a, it's a painting of the outside. It's a painting of the ocean that you have to pay extra. And so we're like, no, we don't need that. Yeah, and you know, even the window room too, like the window's like this big. It's like... <laughs> I can even escape through that even if this the ship is sinking. So right. Like, so no. so because the room right has no window or anything, it's so funny. We can't even tell the difference between daytime and nighttime. A lot of time I would take a nap or something, and I would wake up, and I was like, Sean, is it morning or is it night? Yeah, or I had I no can't clue tell. how long we slept. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it, it, I, I told Lauren, like, hey, it's fine. You know, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna be on a cruise. We're gonna eat out, right? And we're gonna experience and do the excursion. We'll go out most of the time. The only time we'll be staying inside the room is when we sleep. Uh, but I was wrong. Very, very wrong. We had spent most of the time in the room. I think because we were just overly exhausted and tired. Uh, sometimes we want to just like watch movies while we eat, right? And maybe sometimes on the bed. So we, we go to a nice restaurant, right? Uh, each night because it's all like fully inclusive and, and the uh, it's already booked. So we go there. <laughs> I ask for to go. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's a course menu, I just ask them to stuck it up <laughs> in the box and then uh, uh we'll bring it back <laughs> to the room and then we'll just eat on the bed watching movies and also too because you know we slept really early but you know there's still people that are still outside partying right oh, i mean yeah. which they should be because you know um that's what they paid to do but i remember us keep complaining you know it's like it's eight o'clock why are there so much noise because we're like trying to you know to get ready for bed <laughs> but then it was really fun because uh you know we were on the deck a lot of times just kind of relaxing chilling and now i think about it i don't remember much where we went like right most of the memories inside that that room with no windows <laughs> that's i vividly remember i don't remember where we went to i just don't even I... remember getting off from the ship 
I remember, I think we only had went to one excursion because again, it was really expensive, right? Oh, so... if you don't have money, we can even get off from the <laughs> ship. No, you can walk, but oh. there's nothing to do after you walk. So we had went on one excursion. It was like <laughs> snorkeling and we had like those uh, disposable camera. Uh -huh. I don't think we have developed that camera. Do we still have it? Maybe somewhere in Houston, oh. I probably have it. But right now, it's probably been so long. I don't think it's good anymore, right? No, it might. Yeah, it you might still so? be okay. Yeah, it's worth trying. But I, I mean, the problem when when we were in, on the honeymoon, we didn't really take that many pictures with our uh, camera. Not at all. Right. I mean, th that camera maybe, but not with our phone. We only took a one or two pictures with our phone, a smartphone. So there are many pictures that we can look back to. No, all I remember is that room <laughs> yeah that was one of the biggest mistakes i've, that I've done <laughs> in my life. i mean it's fine right it's fine if the idea was uh to go just, outside right to go out outside. and just hang out and do things but we did it so that's the problem <laughs> just uh, imagine the the titanic where the dicaprio was like you know spending a day and uh, spending his room that's where our room looked like <laughs> So yeah, um, I don't really have much to say left, except I remember coming back and the very next day um, I had to go to work because that's like the starting of a new school year. So I was like really super exhausted. But yeah, thank you for being with me. Thank oh, you thank for you marrying for me. me. <laughs> and here we are. It's been eight years. Yeah. So because it's eight years, um, we were thinking to redo our wedding. Maybe something a little bit more of how we want it to be because you know we have a little bit more money now and <laughs> since we're here in hawaii um our goal is in two years to redo our 10th anniversary here yeah because uh you know it's 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 a lot of work right to to make the marriage work for that long i think 10 years is a uh, it's a good milestone for the a lot of couples so we should celebrate yeah and uh you know we took the picture at the wedding too um like our portrait pictures but I was a lot bigger. I mean, I, I was, I'm big right now too, but I, 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 I know, but you know, I was even bigger back then and I'm He's, not really proud of that picture. Oh, every time that I show him that picture, he's always like, Oh, don't look, don't, don't show me, don't show me, put it away. <laughs> but we have two years, right? We have two years, not just you for me too, to get in shape right be the best shape of our life for the wedding and we are at the perfect spot for the uh the wedding picture yeah. a lot of people come to hawaii to take a wedding picture and we're here all the time so um i think we should do it just uh gotta eat healthy and uh and exercise and for two years i think we could get there really let us know in two years okay come back in this video in two years when you guys have seen our 10th anniversary uh video to see if we you know met our expectation and goals yeah if not then we'll shoot for 15 years <laughs> 15th anniversary it's never too late i guess so yeah that was our wedding story hope you guys like it before we end here is a segment that we pre-recorded to show you guys what's new in ryan's world you guys know about ryan's world right yeah, yeah. but today we have something new it is mmk's world it All right, now we're going to move on to the next segment, which is introducing new Ryan's World product. Technically, this is not Ryan's World. We are launching a brand new product line called EK World. It's catering girl fans and uh, featuring m &K. When they first opened it, they played for hours. So because I know we had Ryan's World toys before, but that was catered towards more boy. And so we're very excited because now, you know, we have some products that are girl focused. Yeah, because I found out that maybe half of the Ryan's World fans are girls and we couldn't really provide them some toys for them. So now here it is. And this cat egg is amazing because it comes with this cat ear hairband wear. and it lights up too. And Emma and Kate loved it. Also, their most favorite thing was this one, this heart shaped little necklace bff necklace and why it's called bff because you can break it apart into two pieces 
You can either give it to your siblings or give it to your best friend. They've been wearing that for days after they opened it. So it's a big hit in our family. So yeah, there it is. EK World. So that Target. Okay, before we end the video, it is for that section. Sticky word of the day. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we we're going to just... I have no idea either. Keeping I, don't, there. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Our sticky word of the day is wedding because that's what this whole video has been about. Um, So there was a viewer that suggested, maybe well, more than one viewer suggested, maybe we can show the different word, you know, in Vietnamese, how it sounds like in Vietnamese and how it sounds like in Japanese. So we're going to do that one today. So the word wedding in Vietnamese is dam cười. Are you sure that's correct? I think so. I'm sure. Want to say one, it? One more time. Dam cui. Dam cui. Dam cui. Dam cui. Cui with a G or? G, yeah. Dam cui. <laughs> cui. Cui. Close enough. Good job. Wow, I Aver cannot tell. Effort. I thought I'm saying it right. Okay. And, and in Japanese, kekkonshiki. Okay, that's even harder, I think. What? <laughs> right? Tell me if I'm wrong. Kekkonshiki. Wait, what? Kekkonshiki. Ke. Kong. Kong. Shiki. Shiki. Ke kon shiki. Yeah. Ke kon shiki. Wow. Okay. You, Let you us. Just, the, the, always there's a trick in Japanese that you just always say it flat. Oh. Ke kon shiki. Ke kon, sh ke kon <laughs> shiki. It's hard because in Vietnamese, we have to enunciate, right? Yeah. If you, if you say it one way, if you go up or down or, you know, or do like a little tilde, they're all, they're all different words. So it's hard for me just to go straight monotone. Yeah, it's funny because Vietnamese is very like exaggerated in yeah. int intonation, right? And on the opposite spectrum, Japanese is very flat. We don't have those up and down. So we're all kind of coming from like both different ways. But <laughs> it's fine. Uh, what was that again in the Vietnamese? Uh, Something bak choy? No, but not bak choy. Bak choy is a vegetable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dam kui. Dam kui. Not even close. <laughs> dam kui. Well, dam kui. Yeah. Dam kui. So now you guys know. Um, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Let us know what other topics or other just video topic ideas you guys want us to talk about. For now, bye. Thank you for watching and happy holidays. Bye.